So if I ulti with the stacks, does it... That guy just... What? Oh, 2D man here. So, a new character has been dropped, and that would be the Claymore user, Eula. We're going to be going over several different builds and weapons that you can use with Eula, as well as different comps you can run her in to optimize her damage as a main DPS. We'll start by going over the artifacts that you can run on her. Currently, I am running the four-piece Pale Flame. One thing I do want to say about the four piece is that it's pretty hard to get the four piece bonus when you're playing her and you have to play in a very particular way with her skill to be able to achieve that four piece bonus constantly. A well, one way to get around this is to run the two piece bloodstained chivalry with a two piece pale flame. Um, it's easier to build, it gives you more freedom. You're probably going to be able to achieve easier stats because two-piece builds with two-piece builds are easier than four-piece builds due to the amount of farming you have to do. With that, you have a constant 50% uptime. The one downside is that you won't get this 9% increase, which is stacks, which is an 18% attack increase. But to be honest, um, having the 100% guarantee that your physical damage bonus is up might be better, and I might switch to that in the future. But in the meantime, my 4-piece flame set is the strongest set that I have currently. So with this set bonus, you're going to want either run a crit rate or a crit damage headpiece with a physical damage goblet, an attack piece sands, or an energy recharge sands. On the sands, you're going to want to be looking for a good amount of crit rate or crit damage in the substats. The same should be go for the feather and the flower. One thing that you do have to bear in mind is the fact that her ulti costs 80 energy, and you can look at this right here. It has an energy cost of 80. Because of this, you're going to want to be looking for energy recharge in your substats. If you do not have good energy recharge in your substats, you might have to run an energy recharge sands. One way to accommodate for this lack of energy recharge is to run a team comp where you do have supporting characters that can provide a lot of cryo particles as well as maybe some Favonius weapons to provide more energy recharge for her to get her alt uptime. As for talents, um, when it comes to you list talents you're going to want to prioritize her normal attack as well as her alt ultimate because that is where a beefy amount of your damage is going to be coming from you do not have to prioritize her e as much but if you do get the rest of her talents up you could um build this later on now let's cut straight into her weapons so we will be showcasing different claymores that you can use for her, at least the ones that I'm able to show for you. So before going into the domain, we have a 62% crit rate as well as 142 crit damage. To deal to help with my crit rate, I'm going to run a cryo resonance, meaning I will have two cryo characters on my comp. I will be running Rosaria in this one for this instance. We will start out with the Favonius Greatsword which is at level 80. It has a base attack of 401, which is lower than most of the others, but it does provide a high amount of energy recharge, and on crit, it'll generate particles for her and the whole entire team. So, and without further ado, let's go straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and showcase this against Child, who will be our test subject for these weapon displays. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. So we'll get a stack right here. Drop this. Now you gotta be pretty quick with her stacks. Now unfortunately Child is doing his attack right here, so I have to continue moving. And as you can see, that Favonius is putting in work as I already have my ulti. I'm gonna go ahead and hit right here. Immediately I press E as one of our first options. I'm gonna hold it down to lower his resistance. 
start out by dropping this. And as you can see, we already have our ulti up, actually. So it's impressive the amount of energy recharge she gets from this. And we actually hit up to 100k. The amount of energy recharge you get from this weapon actually makes it very viable. Of course, you won't be hitting as hard, but you do get her up her ult a lot more. Moving on, we will now test the prototype Archaic, which is your one, one of your top free-to-play options. So let's go ahead and display that. Now bear in mind that this is a level 90 Archaic Petric, and it is Refinement 2. So just bear in mind, um, just so you know. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. Keeps putting his shield up. You've made some progress. Guess I should take you more seriously. We're heading up to 10k. Is how hard does your ulti actually hit? So as you can see that it does hit a lot harder than the Favonius and is an extremely good option for a free to play. Alright, moving on to some weapons that will cost a little bit. I mean another free to technically free to play option is the Black Cliff Slasher. So we will be using this as well. Now both of these weapons didn't provide crit rate or crit damage, so our stats will change slightly. So let me go ahead and show those. So we're gonna switch to this black cliff right here. And as you will see, our crit damage will go a lot higher because it will add it to it. So let's go ahead and see what we can achieve with this weapon. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. I didn't hit him. Shut up! How unbecoming. So you gotta get the stacks here. Drop this right here. See if we can generate our energy enough. He's got his dumb shield. Up to 10k. Up to 12k, actually. So I usually press E right before. And then we'll do it one more time. Lower his resistance. And did 115. So it still is a very good weapon. It is greater than the Favonius, but I believe that was still lower than the Archaic Petric. All right, next we will be going to the Serpent Spine, which I believe is probably her best four star weapon. Um, I'm still trying to debate on that, but let's go ahead and showcase this. This weapon is extremely good. The only problem with this is that I don't think it really fits in with her um, aesthetic. But, it's very good, has a super good passive, and 
But just check this out. Looking at my stats, my crit rate is extremely high. Because of that, I could run a crit damage circlet. Unfortunately, the only good crit rate uh, crit circlet I have is a crit rate one. I do not have a crit damage one. But if you do have one, you could run that with this weapon. And you would probably be able to achieve much higher numbers because you would have a much higher crit damage uh, ratio. Opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. That's without electro appliance. Beg for mercy. Wings of darkness. Yeah. Shudder. Crush. As you see, we're heading up in the ten ten range. Beg for mercy. Let me go ahead and drop this. As you can see, the drastic increase in damage, and I still got hit there, so when I got debuffed. I didn't even have all five stacks, I had four stacks. So, drastically better, and that's without even a crit damage circlet. Alright, last but not least, we'll be showing off the Wolf's Gravestone, which you probably will see um, make some changes. It does have this passive, which I don't know if it will quite be activated, but it does come in the clutch. Uh, with this weapon, my crit damage or crit rate isn't as high as it does. It only adds attack percent, or attack percent is extremely high. This opportunity is quite hard to come by. Well then, amuse me. Surrender is a valid option. I promise I'll be gentle. Shut up, full time. Thank for mercy. Alright, so we have full stacks now. You'll see us hit up in the full range. I have to run because child bullshit. Yeah, the 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 attack is way higher. We'll go ahead and hit this. I condemn you. You're cut above. I just wanted to point out one of the claymores I was not able to showcase due to I just have not crafted it. But it's a very good and in fact it's what I've seen, the best free to play option you can have. It's a toss up between the prototype archaic. Or the snow tube star silver with this you get physical damage and it does have a very good uh, uh passive if you want to refine it go ahead and you could actually sim see some really good numbers one of the most intriguing things about this weapon is that it looks really good on her as far as as that aesthetics it fits in really well with her appearance but this weapon is really good it has a very high base attack um and it also provides physical damage bonus, which will help her um, alt. I might actually forge this weapon and build it in the future, just because I like the way it looks on her. And it provides physical damage bonus, which if I do like to use her alt a lot, this could be the route I take. Um, currently, I'm just using my 5-star because that's the best in slot I have right now. 
but if you're looking for an alternative this weapon is extremely good i would say this claymore as well as the serpent spine from the battle pass are going to be your best four star options hey guys hope you enjoyed the video if you haven't already please smash that like button and subscribe if you'd like to be notified next time i upload